Yes, she's back. Attacking Coco Melon again. Hey, what is up, guys and girls? It's ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Me, Slice Dog. Today, we're going to be reviewing the vegan teacher again. And <laughs> it was a while, but in our last video, we decided to give her her own taste of her own medicine by giving her tons of X's, no check marks, because she hasn't helped anybody at all. All she does now is talk about veganism, this made up word. And she keeps repeating it, and she compares it to the Jews. Um, she compares animals getting eaten to the Jews in the concentration camps. They're nowhere near alike. Nowhere near. And she acts like they are, ma'am. She creates her own veganism, and she talk, compares it to this other word that has ism in it. And she thinks it's the same. It is very annoying to compare two words. that And one that you made up, veganism. And this is just berserk, Karen haircut woman. Because you can't just compare two words, which you already have, and try to make them seem alike, which they aren't. So stop. Now she's attacking Coco Melon again. Congratulations. Immediately, 118 million subscribers drops to zero. No, no, that 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 is not how the world works, ma'am. So stop attacking a kid's show. And she was even attacking Gordon Ramsay. And she said, call me a donut. I don't care. And he called him, he called her a vegan donut. And she got angry and posted another video. You know, she gets angry at people who post videos. <laughs> So, and she just points fingers at these people. It's like, ma'am, calm down, Karen haircut. You don't, Karen boss, you need to calm down. Go eat some nuts and seeds or go munch on some grass in my neighbor's yard. I don't give a crap. Just stop worrying about other people. So anyways, out with the intro and let's get into it. Hello students, welcome back to class. Today we're gonna to be reviewing this little children's show called Coco Melon, it's for little kids. My granddaughter loves this show, but unfortunately there are some messages in there that are not vegan. So we have to be very careful as parents when we're showing our kids this to always remind them like, hey, we do this, but no, we don't do that. That part, the show made a mistake. So remember when we're eating and we're showing, let me get this straight. You want us to waste our time to keep pausing a video like you did in our last video like this. What Mary had a little lamb and I'm gonna explain a whole paragraph on it. Ma'am, calm down first of all. Nobody's going to waste their time to explain what you should and shouldn't do. This is to teach kids like nursery rhymes and stuff that's actually true. You know, it helps kids learn faster. And once they see Cogamelon, they're immediately, like, connected to it. I'm not. It scares the bejeebies out of me. But still. Proper foods that we're looking for are whole foods. For example, lentils, chickpeas, brown rice, oats, peanut butter. You want to give your kids the peanut butter without any sugar added, without any salt added, without any extra oil. And that's for you, too. Um, let me get this straight. Without any extra salt? Well... Or any salt. Salt is a rock, ma'am. Salt is a rock. A literal rock. So, it's not healthy if you eat too much. I can understand you doing that. But none of it would make it flavorless. Sugar is also a plant. So, I'm guessing it is. Or, I don't know how else it would be made out of this world. I'm not a... I'm not a animal rights activist Karen over here explaining what sh we should and what we shouldn't eat. Okay, parents, you got to love yourselves. You have to eat properly as if you're yeah. feeding the child within you. Don't feed yourself crap. Don't smoke. Don't drink. Don't, don't do anything that's bad for you. Your body should be like a garden, okay, not a cemetery. Don't put anything dead inside your body. Looking for kale, spinach, bok choy, bananas, blueberries, or any other blueberries. Uh, sorry, any other berries like strawberries, raspberries. Those are not berries. They're just fruits. Learn! They are not berries. None of those are actually berries. They might say berry in them, but there are berries. Berries, yes, they have seeds, but not inside of them. They have them outside. I'm not, I'm not, I'm dumb. I don't know. 
okay? But berries don't have their seeds from the outside. They have them inside. Those are berries. Berries, any, any kinds of fruits or vegetables, basically. You're looking to sweeten things with dates instead of sugar. So grind them up and pour that sort of that jam that you make into anything Ew. to sweeten things up. I've never even We're looking had for cake tahini. Before, That's good to eat. Also, that's a, something you can add to salad dressings. It really gives a, a good flavor. If she starts I talking don't about like any kind of soy milk, I'm gonna be like disgusting. No, soy milk. Even if I'm lactose intolerant, soy milk is nasty as heck. Nobody tahini on its own, but when it's mixed with things, it gives such a depth of flavor into any stews or, or salads. I'll give you a depth of flavor. We got the steak over here that I'm going to juicily eat in my mouth and it's going to go, oh, it's going to taste so good. Ah, the, the steak is so delicious. I'm going to make you angry because I can. Oh, that steak. Oh, those po the potatoes with the butter. Yes, you heard me. The butter and the cheese. And don't forget the sour cream, maybe. I, I personally don't eat it with sour cream. Sometimes I do. Looking for walnuts to get omega-3s, carrots, mushrooms, potatoes, tomatoes, avocado, garlic, or any other spices as well. Ew. You're looking to, to use basil, Brown oregano, rice, and turmeric, and any kind of spice. I personally do like broccoli, rice, peas, um, 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 blueberries, carrots, potatoes, a lot of vegetables. I, I'm not a, always a big fan of meat. But I still love, like, heavy meats like steak. I don't know why. I, I don't really like pork, personally. This is just me. I like, I like steak. I, I, I don't know why. I, I don't know any other meat I would enjoy more than just steak or chicken. Those are, the, like, the best meats you can have for me. As many different foods as you can, vegan foods, you should eat per day to make sure you get a big variety. We're also looking at chia and flax seeds. Remember to grind up your chia okay, seeds. Okay, let's get on to the point, ma'am. Let's go. Cooking in the kitchen. What are they cooking there? What did that look like? Why is the toast white instead of brown? Eek. Gonna get an X for that. For what? It's bread. It's from wheat. It is from wheat. I think it's made out of milk too. I'm not exactly sure. Like every single bread is wheat. Like most of the bread you will see in markets are literally white. Like you'll, they're white, okay? Ma'am, you just gave Coco Melon an X for having white bread. You are very dumb, I'm gonna say. By the way, I'm using my vegan marker here. If you don't have, uh, can you see that? This is a brand that's vegan, but not all the things that they sell are necessarily vegan. Yeah, so like careful, your last time's marker was actually not vegan. The Crayola is not vegan. This particular one is a brand Faber Castell. It's bad that you can't see it, but anyway. I'm going right, to rip so that marker gonna, apart so she stops searching you know, people. They have to have an X right away. She what a they disappointment. Have to. Coco you know melon. what, let me just do that Why thing again where I give her multiple X's and yes, I'm pausing the video multiple times, it's a reaction. I'm going to give her multiple X's for disrupting the Coco Melon tune over here because she always does it. And I'm trying to listen to my song right now. So yes, get my pen and marker, see how you feel. No, my Hello Neighbor ideas. Okay. Excuse me. My pink marker will work. Okay, I'm ready to mark her. Got my pencil. I'm ready. Serving white bread. And what in the heck was that batter? Hopefully that was some sort of pan... It's pancake batter pretty obvious ma'am you literally did you see them put it into a pan cake mix or waffle mix that was made without eggs we're looking for no um most of the time you just have to put water and already made pancake mix and then it's done but yeah some people make pancakes fresh which is always good too no use of animal products we're looking for plant-based milks we're looking for no dead animals well, they're technically not dead if they're not born. They're just not born. So eating eggs isn't really a problem. They're not dead, but they're not born either. So what the fuck is 
this? Excuse me. First of all, um, Karen haircut with her wig that came from Dollar Tree. You do that stuff again, you're I'm going to be exposing you even more than I have to. <laughs> and I just the fact she got that, she was like, what the F is this? Ma'am, Karen haircut from Dollar Tree. Calm down with your wig on. Calm down. You got the perfect Karen haircut. Perfect. I can see. Calm down. Go go to level zero here. Just calm down. Right away. Within the first 29 seconds, they're showing dead animals. I'm giving you five X's for cursing. For giving them X's and there. You know what you're getting. Processed meats. Classified as class one carcinogens by the World Health Organization. Do not eat processed meats yourself and never feed these to your children. Let's look at what the World Health Organization says. The International Agency for Research on Cancer. Each 50 gram pork. Oh my goodness. You are doing it again. You're literally comparing two things that have nothing to do. If you eat too much meat, you get cancer, ma'am. Calm down. If you eat too much of something, it's always going to be bad. Too much of anything. Everything is pretty much not healthy if you eat too much of it. So stop comparing stuff like the Jews and the animals. Stop comparing concentration camps with the Jews and just animals getting eaten. There is no similarities. Yes, they're dying. So what? We eat them for a living. You have no respect for the human race, but you have time to argue about who sh who and e everybody should eat vegetables. Calm down. Nobody is going to listen to you waste their time out of their day going on a, a whole 70, 700 year diet. Nobody's going to do that. They're not going to waste their time of processed meat eaten daily increases the risk of colorectal cancer by 18%. Processed meat refers to meat that has been transformed- 18%? That's still pretty low, ma'am. Salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, or other processes to enhance flavor or improve- This is only if you eat it too much, so calm down. Preservation. Most processed meats contain pork or beef, but processed meats may also contain other red meats, poultry, Offal or meat byproducts such as blood. Examples of processed meats include hot dogs, frankfurters, ham, sausages, corned beef, and biltong or beef jerky, as well as canned meats and meat based preparations and sauces. In view of the large number of people who consume processed Man, meats, just get on with it. You're on lecturing about this ham and bacon. And you're getting very mad, so you start lecturing about something that has nothing to do with this video of this rhyme, nursery rhyme. Whenever you can. You know, we can't always do it, but when we can, we do. All right, so. Um, you know, I'm going to draw her a wig because th this is just how it goes. All really, uh, really very sad. You know, bacon comes from the cycle of violence. Six-month-old baby pigs died. Six months old. Now, you parents who are watching. Actually, no, yeah. it has not. Technically, it does not. It does not come from those that age. Normally, it's very old pigs, ma'am. How do you think they make a living? They breed pigs. And it, why love one but eat the other? You can't just assume somebody eats pork. And why would love one but eat the other? Because one... If, if you don't eat any of them, they're going to be coming at your front door attacking you. Two, they're going to take over the world. And three, dogs are protective and they actually care about us, unlike pigs, which are lazy. Yes, some pigs can be tamed, but wild animals cannot be tamed. I don't know why I even said pigs, some pigs can be tamed. Children, how can you even contemplate harming another innocent being? and then putting it into the body of a child. Here, here's a child. Okay, children should be fed healthy foods, whole foods, There's not one death. Creepy doll. All of our bodies do, 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 should do, be do. like gardens. Do, 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 attacks the vegan teacher. Take care of yourself and your children. 
Look, inside of you is a child too. Don't drink. Don't drink alcohol. Don't smoke cigarettes. Don't put anything toxic inside your body. Just because you say that doesn't mean people won't do it. You can't control what people do and not do. Stop trying to control the world and thinking you can because you can't. Newsflash, Karen. Nobody really... It, everybody's irritated. You're literally irritating like most of the world with your information. You're like this. I'm going to pause the video seven times to explain why veganism is mu a must and everybody should become vegan. Yes, so Mary had a little lamb and then who was green and white as snow, she went for a walk one day and ate some meat. See, that is illegal because nobody in the world is allowed to eat meat. That is illegal. Make it in the books. I'm going to talk to your manager. If you do not, I'm the manager, ma'am. Calm down, Karen. Goodbye. Just stop. Just stop, ma'am. Stop. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. My God, life is so fragile as it is. You know, we can die at any time, get hit by a car, or any one of us can get cancer. Why not try to reduce our risks? Yeah, that's if you children, eat too much of speciesism it. at such a young age. I mean, what if this was a dog? Would you feed this to your child? Dude, I don't even eat... I don't eat sheep. I don't like mutton or anything you think I like. I love... I don't like sheep either. Well, I kind of do. They're fluffy, but they can also be mean. Oh, no, that's a cow, I think. That looks like a cow with its big whipper tail. Yes, I'm going to whip that. I'm going to whip that tail on the vegan teacher. See, how, how would you like if you worked on a farm and you had to wake up at 4 in the morning and go to bed at, like, 11? My mom literally lived on a farm and worked on it her whole entire 18 years of her life. And do you think she enjoyed it? No. Did you think she couldn't do it? No, she had to. That's the way of living, ma'am. It doesn't matter what you want other people to do. They're going to do it. They're going to have to. It's like trying to avoid doing your chores. Soon enough, you're going to have to do them because it's going to get too messy in the house and your video game won't work. Or it, the dog's going to poop all over the lawn and then... You're, you're going to have barely any walk space to be able to jump on the trampoline. What if this was a cat? Nobody it's eats right. chicks, ma'am. They eat the chickens, not the baby chicks. They're chicken nuggets. Chicken, not chick nuggets. So disappointing. I'm disappointed in you for even comparing stuff like that. Showing a <laughs> I'm laughing because they just put the bacon. She's like, that's illegal to put bacon on a plate. It doesn't belong on a plate. And the same thing. Not even just like one time. Now we're going to show them serving it. Well, what did you expect? It was literally there on the skillet. What do you expect, ma'am? Terrible. Full of fat, salt. She's right, though. Bacon is very unhealthy. Full of cholesterol. <laughs> she sees it again. She's like, full of fat due to cooking on the stove. Full of cholesterol. Stop pausing. Like I said in the last video, you're going to keep doing this, and then I'm not going to waste my time with my viewers. Keep pausing the video and then writing, writing paragraphs on what you're saying. What are you trying to kill your kid? Awful. How many not are killing their kid. If you eat too much of it, you can die. Literally, you need meat. It has plenty of protein. You can shut your, 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 your open pie hole closed right now because if you keep it open, your things are going to fly out of your mouth and then you're not going to be able to control your mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the problem that's with six parents. Or seven. They always have these haircuts and they always have the attitude and they can never shut their mouth because their brain thinks too much about other people. So it just goes flying out of their mouth like they have no problem. See, her hands here are normally together. 
but hers are seg technically segregated. So she can't control her temper. So she starts whopping around and her hair haircut causes it, which causes her brain to react. And then when she sees bacon, she st stuff starts flying out of her mouth like no, t no end. It's so annoying. Six, it looks like. Six X's for you, Coco Melon. One, two, three, four. There, you get six five, X's. Six. So far, we have not seen you got one, one X's. Congrats. single vegetable or fruit. Not one seed. Nothing. What's going on? It's amazing how in the last video she ended it so quickly because she got so sad at the end because she watched a documentary of what they technically do to animals. like they are made with white flour. Now, I'm not no. going to give an X yet because Whatever I don't really know. Whatever shall I do when they're made from a plant? From wheat? Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? Oh, no. I don't know what's in the pancakes. It's possible that they're vegan. So, we're going to let that one go. But this one? <laughs> not a gift. She's not going on the bacon. Now she's going, she's attacking the ham. Whatever did the ham do to you? Man. It's a nursery room. How many pieces are they showing now? Oh my god. <laughs> and even pancakes is not the best thing to have for breakfast. It's more like a dessert. Oh my goodness. Ah! She's killing me, man. That reaction was so amazing. You could go back. It was so freaking funny. You put syrup on there or you put fruit on there. That's something you have after. Oh, how many pieces of bacon were there? <laughs> God, that reaction, gosh. Oh. oh my God. I'm going to say five. I don't know. Head. I'm not going to go back. How many pieces of ham here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. I'm um, no saying that. This, this um, card bye is going to be. I just One, started two, the video. Three, it's only 40 four. seconds. And this is what we have already. Yeah, it's only 40 seconds. And you're making such a big fussy out of it. Okay, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end off the video here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe if you enjoy this content and want more of it and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.